and keep me grounded grinding just like i'm skating so i'll be staying focused the game is up Hello everyone, it is Cryptograns here and welcome back to another Unity Idle Game tutorial video. This is episode 6 and today I'm going to be showing you how to implement progress bars into your game. If this video ends up being very helpful for you, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and turn on the bell if you want to be notified for whenever I upload videos or go live. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So the progress bar we're going to be implementing today is going to be related to our upgrades. So it's going to determine how close we are to actually buying a certain upgrade. So it's going to go here. I'm going to add it real quick. Okay, so I have implemented my progress bar. So it's basically just an image as a parent and then a child image for the actual fill. So our image looks like this. Um, I just have a plain white image. I changed the color to gray and this will be the background. And the image type is simple, so it's not gonna do anything at all. Um, for the image, uh, for the fill right here, uh, I did filled, horizontal, left, and you can see it goes from left to right. And some issues here is that if you have an image that is um, being used for slicing like this, it's not going to work. Okay, so if we have an image like uh, this one right here. Okay, this one actually doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah, this is sliced. So you see how it looks kind of decent right now? In order to use fill, we have to get rid of the slicing effect, which makes it look really, really, really bad. <laughs> so I just want to give you guys a heads up that when you are designing progress bars, obviously this is very basic, you're going to want to know ahead of time what you want it to look like because you won't be able to apply the slicing effect. So um, look at the dimensions here and mess around with Photoshop and stuff like that. Another thing you want to make sure to do is to apply the progress bars to all of your upgrade prefabs. So don't forget to do that. So we're going to create a method called fill inside our method script. So this will return a float. We're going to call it fill. It's going to take in two big doubles, left and right. So this method will be used for actually setting the fill amount for the progress bar. And since the fill amount variable is a float, we need to return a float. And the reason why we're creating this method is because when we're dividing left by right, um, these are big doubles. So we're going to eventually have to convert these to floats and things can go very wrong depending on how small or how big the number is. So we're going to need to do some checks. So first, let's create a temporary variable. var fill equals left divided by right. So this is our fill for now. It's going to be a big decimal, and we're going to have to convert this eventually. So the first thing we want to do is check to see if this fill is greater than 1, because we don't really need to return anything greater than 1 anyways. So we'll just return 1 if it's greater than 1. And remember, the progress bar goes from 0 to 1, so we don't need anything greater than that. And for the really small decimals, like the ones like tons of like decimal places, we're going to have to convert this into a float and floats only have so much precision and we can get some issues with this. So we're just going to check to see if the fill is less than 0.001. And I think that's small enough. You won't be able to see that right away on the actual image. We could probably even do less than 0.001. That works too. So if it's less than this, we're going to return zero. Otherwise, we're going to return the fill. And before we actually return it, we need to convert this into a float. And that is everything we need to do inside this script. Next, let's head to the upgrade script. And here, I'm going to create a brand new image called fill. Next, let's head to our upgrades manager. Let's head down to the update all UI method because this is where we're going to actually do everything. So we're going to be changing the fill amount of the fill image from this upgrades um, at index ID object. So let's do that. Okay, so fill amount is the variable name for this image and we're going to be setting it equal to methods.fill and we have our left. So our left is going to be the currency. So we're going to be dividing the currency by the cost and this will determine on how close we are to actually buying or how far away we are from actually buying the upgrade. So for our currency, it's going to be controller.controller.data.flask and our right side is going to be the upgrade cost. So now that we have finished all the scripts, we need to assign all the images to all of our prefabs. So let's do that. So we just want to drag this progress bar fill into the fill object slot right here. And make sure to do that for every single object. Okay, cool. So this can be a little hard to tell because our numbers are so big. So I think I should just restart everything. Let's see, is it working? I don't believe so. Oh, it is working. Here we go. Cool. Oh, except it's updating every time we click on it. So that's an issue. Okay, so in this method, we, there's one thing we need to do, and that is to actually move this line somewhere else. So I'm going to grab that, and we need to move it somewhere else. Inside of the update method for the upgrade manager, we need to determine if our upgrade screen is actually active, because that's just kind of a waste. 
we're going to check to see if our upgrade scroll is active. So we kind of do that already down here. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to paste that for now and comment. So for the upgrade handler at zero, this will be our click upgrades. So if this is active, we need to run through all of the upgrades and change the fill here. So we already have a for loop up here. So I'm just going to steal that. All right. So this will be uh, this index right here will be replaced with zero, zero, zero. And we're going to change this um, upgrade thing here because that's not actually what we're doing. So we can delete that. Move this line to here, to this for loop. And what we want to do is adjust the upgrade handlers at index zero dot fill. And we need to access the upgrade. So we get that from here. Upgrade handlers at index zero dot upgrades. Okay, so it should look like this. And we're going to replace the type with click because this is our click upgrade right here. And our ID with I. All right, so I'm going to make a new method, something like this, because we'll kind of clean things up a bit. So I will just call this the upgrade fill manager. And we're going to pass a string. This will be our type and int for our index. So this will be for our upgrade handler. And in here, I just inverted this if statement because it looks a little better. I'm going to replace all the zeros with index and click string with type. And now we actually need to call this. So we have our upgrade fill manager, click, and this will be type zero. And we'll do the same for the other two. Okay, so let's give this a shot now. Cool. So it's working perfectly fine now. Good, good, good. Looks great. All right, so that is it for this video. I know it was very basic and it doesn't really do too much, but hopefully it should lead you into the right direction. You can make pretty much anything out of this progress bar script or the few methods that we've created. And and it's pretty easy as well. So you can do whatever you want with it. You can change the color. You can make it do funny things if you want, but we'll get more advanced in the future episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, and turn on the bell if you want to be notified for future videos and live streams. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, which will be 6.1, and that will be the different types of progress bars. So I'm going to be showing you guys different styles, like circles, or just stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the next one. Hope you guys have a great day or night. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. See, I be up in class, but my mind is in the clouds, though. Know the teacher's mad, cause my music beating loud, ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low. And if I turn it up, then I'm bound to attract the crowd. So no wonder me and Tim be out of state, doing things you can't imagine. Chris Angel on the mic, give me a beat, I'll show you magic. We born in different planes.